if there's a competitive element to your game, at a leaderboard. It'll help you get more out of your monetization by incentivizing players to keep coming back and playing. A leaderboard is a graphic table of player rankings. Users can see their own results and compare them to those of other players. Game participants see their own rating as well as the four places above and the five places below them. Anyone who didn't make the leaderboard can see the first ten places. How to add a leaderboard to your game. Add the SDK code to your game's source files. Go to your developer console and select the leaderboard section. Enter the table's technical name. As with in-game purchases, this is the ID you will reference in the game code. If your game supports more than one language, check the localization options in the list. Come up with an enter a name for the leaderboard, something like best players, in all the languages you have selected. All users will see this name. Select a unit of measurement for the results. Numeric is numbers. Time is in milliseconds. Specify the order you want results displayed in. Sorting by decreasing shows the results from highest to lowest. Players with the best results will be in the top places. You can also sort by increasing to see the lowest results first. If it's a speed contest, for example, select sort by increasing and set the unit of measurement as time. Let's take hard box as an example. The leaderboard type is numeric and sorted in decreasing order. The players with the most points are shown first. On the other hand, Action 10 has a time leaderboard type that's sorted in decreasing order. Enter the number of decimal places to show in the results. If you only want to show whole numbers, leave it as 0. If you enter 2, a value of 1250 will show as 12.50. You can also create multiple leaderboards. We recommend making a test leaderboard first after which you can create your working version and check the box to mark it as the main one. The main leaderboard option indicates which table will be displayed in the game card. All game cards show the main leaderboard. Here's something important to note. There can only be one main leaderboard. If you make a new leaderboard the main one, the old one will be unchecked automatically. Once you've created your leaderboard, a table will be generated in the game card with player IDs and results. You can connect multiple leaderboards covering different user groups, but only the main one will be displayed in the game card. The platform also has community leaderboards that lets you invite friends to the game and compete with them for positions on the leaderboard. Let's look at Bubble Shooter Pro. As you can see, you can invite friends to the game by clicking a button. We recommend using this function. The more friends you get playing the game together, the more often they'll come back to spend more time on the platform. Competitive mechanics are a powerful tool for growing retention and therefore your income.